Next up, we got Mike Tyson, baddest man on the planet. <sighs> now, this is a great video. You know what I'm saying? Mike Tyson, y'all know. You already know Mike Tyson, one of the greatest of all time. Now, I am getting into UFC and boxing in general. Now, I do know about Mike Tyson because he's such a, like, it's kind of like Michael Jordan. Like, it's a household name. It, it don't matter if you watch it or not. You're going to know who this is. You know what I'm saying? It's a household name. Um, but I already know this whole backstory. So, this is perfect. You know what I'm saying? We can check it out together. If y'all want more videos like this, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Um... Also, too, comment down well the, if y'all got more Mike Tyson videos you want me to check out. I'll do that, too. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, hour-long video. When you talk Might be about even longer than an hour. For most people, you're talking about... Get y'all snacks ready. Division. The heavyweight champ of the world is an icon. Mike Ooh. Tyson. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, I wouldn't... I, I, I literally, I swear, I did not mean to, to pause this fast. What about Heavyweight division. The heavyweight but bro, the world is that high. body shot? Mike Tyson. Oh! Iron Mike. People around Damn. The world, uh, do want to see this American phenomenon. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Right, I'm Mike Tyson, heavyweight champ of the world. I won titles. I had I had everything in the world, but I still had that darkness in me. Pet tigers, bro. He's <laughs> <laughs> wrestled with them. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion it's ever been. Oh. Okay, so it's like he got his uppercuts, and I haven't actually seen a fighter with great uppercuts. We haven't even seen that much. Um, like I told you, we're getting into it now, so the playlist is not that long. But so far, though, I haven't seen some vicious uppercuts, and I like uppercuts. Uppercuts, hooks. Uh, at haymakers, overhands—I don't know what they call. You know what I'm saying? Just like a lot of like real vicious. If you if it lands, you can get knocked the fuck out. That's what I like to see. So I think this is perfect, bro. This is perfect. The most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion it's ever been. Ooh. Ooh. Because at this particular point, I was throwing. I, what can I say? Hydrogen bombs. And. And at any moment, man, every punch was with murderous intention. I believe he will be the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. You know what's actually kind of funny, though? As much as he, like, really will beat everybody ass, his voice is kind of squeaky, though, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? Like, he one of them niggas that like, he'll look mean as hell. Like, he look like he, like, you know, he walk in the party, bro, you automatically think he trying to fight anybody. He got strap on him um, and, and everything. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as he talk, he like, hey, guys, how, how you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, what the fuck? I wasn't expecting this. Like, I thought you have a deep end. Like, what up, though? What y'all niggas on? Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, <laughs> yeah. And I think, because, cause, okay, so I thought that, because I see, like, a lot of shit of him now, you know what I'm saying, doing a lot of shit or saying some shit. And I'm thinking, like, oh, since he, he since he older, his voice is, like, now is kind of squeaky or something like that. So that's what I thought. But now I'm seeing these old videos, his voice is, what is this? I, I, I say hydrogen bombs. And... <laughs> And at any moment, man, every punch was with murderous intention. I believe he will be the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. And if he remains dedicated, interested, and without any distractions, I believe that eventually he will go down in history as the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. So he definitely had but first, right. a word from our sponsor. It's no coincidence I'm talking about this incredible game, Warpath, in my Mike Tyson documentary. Action, strategy, and destructive co world war. And you can if you meant it in <laughs> someone that was as dominant. There was a mythos to Tyson. There's never been someone that was as dominant for a scary moment in boxing history than Mike Tyson. He was a great American success story. A street kid who fought his way out of poverty to astounding fame and fortune. An ominous sense of dread. Fear was a lot of Tyson's weaponry. The fighters came in almost frozen. He comes naked with his shoes on. He's a gladiator. He signifies what he's about. Mike Tyson's opponent naked with his shoes with, on. Uh, great psychological 
disadvantage. You guys come into the ring and they are scared. Black shoes, no socks, black trunks. As soon as you stepped in the ring, the other guy across the ring, what were you thinking? I mean, because he was thinking, oh, that's my ass. This has the anticipation of a Doberman who's happened upon 210 pounds of unguarded meat. I, I dared him even to challenge me in these fighters, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? With their primitive boxing skills, you know what I mean? They're as good as dead. It was a persona he was trained to adopt. Wherever I've been, okay, what country, I never had experience being captivating and spending that seven years with Custy Amato. He's the one who told me the size don't mean anything, but it was the intimidation factor. He said intimidation is the, the most um, magnanimous factor in life. He won national junior Olympic boxing championships, 15-year-old Mike Tyson. Oh, is he 15 years old? All right. Here we go. Bombs away, Jimmy. Let's watch this carefully. Because it's crazy how he got the ugly. Blue is a bomber. He's Mike Tyson. No other than Damn. Damn. Tyson. Tyson. <laughs> oh, shit. 15-year-old? 15? 15? Because Tyson in the blue is a bomber. He's trained by... You see the... Okay. Oh, shit. Hold oh, no. on. No other than Dusty Amato. Damn. Damn. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh. Round three lasted 15 seconds. God damn, I couldn't even breathe. Yeah, Tyson is coached by Custio Mato at Lord Potter. What the fuck was Jesse going on? Torres, He's dead. Champions. He just killed him. Where's the ambulance at? Coached by Custio Mato Bro. at Lord Patterson and Jesse Torres. He haven't moved. Is he okay? I remember one day we were in the house, we were robbing somebody's house, and my friend who thinks he's a professional, he's he trying to lock the door. I remember one day we were in the house, we were robbing somebody's house, and my friend who thinks he's a professional, he tried to lock the door, but the guy came, opened the door, and blew his brains out. Ooh, I'm from that world. By age 10, Mike had been abandoned by his father and lived oh, mostly on the streets. Mike damn. Tyson beat up a boy who stole his pigeon when he was nine by 11. He was fighting for money. Everybody would bring other kids from different neighborhoods around to fight me for money. I was really, hey, listen, I'm not showing off a brag. I was just really a good fighter. Engaging in Are constant criminal activity, he was arrested 38 times by the age of 13. I have been to some. Nigga, what? What the fuck was he doing? Oh, no, hell no, hell no, hell no. Hell fucking no. I didn't hear that bullshit, no. That's a joke. That's a joke. No, 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 no. He's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Nigga said he got arrested 40 times. How the fuck you get arrested for? Nigga, you gotta be the worst thief of all time, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? 38 times, nigga. What the hell was you doing? And they kept letting you out? How did How did that even happen? They kept letting you get released? Nigga, keep him in there, bro. He gonna keep doing 13. And they said 13 years old. Okay, right, uh, Engaging what? in constant criminal activity. He was arrested 38 times by the age of 13. I have been through some real hard times, and to get through them, I believe that there was something out there, like um, someone had a plan for me. Okay, like that. I got introduced to a German by the name of Bobby Stu, and he started teaching me how to box, because I thought I was a tough guy. Stewart then brought Tyson to a gym above the police station in Catskill, New York. Mike Tyson came to me as a result of an interest taken in him by a fellow named Bobby Stewart. Now, he was 13 and a half years old, I believe. This old Italian guy that would be my mentor eventually, and his name was Custy Amato. You remember Cust Amato, the man who managed Floyd Patterson's heavyweight title? Cust was revered as an all-time great boxing trainer. Hmm. I not, I didn't this shoot that would happen. He just happened to be in proximity to perhaps the most talented, gifted fighter to ever exist. Dang. Now, and that's what just and that's what you call it, God's plan, bro. That's God's plan right there. That's crazy, man. You have a gr all-time great coach, and he just so happened to be around an all-time great player. So all the all-time great player need is a great coach. Wow, bro. Dang, that's crazy. Perhaps the that's most crazy. talented, gifted fighter to ever exist. And now, his seasoned eye for talent has spotted a fresh up-and-coming young heavyweight named Mike Tyson. He taught Mike from the age of 13 to the age of 19 how to control his emotions. Custy Amato immediately mm. saw Tyson's potential. Your mind is not on your way. Your mind is not on your way. There's something distracting you. 
he was my father. He was my father. And there's nothing else I could tell you. He loved me. I loved him. Damn. Oh, that's the little shit he was doing. Oh, that's the thing he was doing. Oh, he was just doing it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Are these, these are, this, this is the, the round just started, right? I could tell you he loved me. I loved him. I think the round just started. He threw about 17 punches before he threw one. Look at that. Damn. 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 When you have when you have somebody who has power and speed, like has that has to be the most OP combo of all time, bro. Power and speed, bro. Because usually people have speed, no power. And people have power, no speed. But if you have both, oh my god, oh my god. Great boxing trainer Gus D'Amato, who finally turned Mike's life around, took him under his wing and rechanneled Mike's energies in the boxing. D'Amato immediately went to work preparing him to be a champion. When you get hit, that's when you gotta be calm. That's when you gotta be calm. When you get hit, a professional fighter has gotta learn how to hit and not get hit. At the same time, be excited. Tyson channeled the rage of the impoverished and abused. Damn! I was angry. You know, I was just a little kid. I was still bitter. I wanted to make people pay. Being part of Customato's family was therapeutic. It gave him direction, it gave him order, it gave him care, loving. Tyson's teens were spent in the D'Amato family. Cus eventually adopted him. If he weren't here, I probably wouldn't be alive today. The fact that he is here and doing what he's doing, and doing as well as, him, as he's doing, and improving as he has, gives me the motivation and interest to stay alive. And from the Bro, how do we just get so dark, bro? Damn, you wanna die? Yo, chill. What the fuck? Yo, bro, okay. Now, I look, he was thinking it too. I'm like, damn, he looked kind of old. Though. That's the only part. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he so he already thinking about it too. That's like he kind of fucked up, bro. When you know that at the end of your time, bro, you just start thinking about this. That shit fucked up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So he literally said it right here. He wouldn't, if, if he'd probably just start this. Just, oh, I don't want to think about it, bro. That's it fucked up, bro. No. He said he wanted to die, bro. Chill, bro. Chill. Cuss eventually Chill. adopted him. If he weren't here, I probably wouldn't be alive today. What the, the fuck? The fact that he is here and doing what he's doing and doing as well as, him, as he's doing and improving as he has gives me the motivation and interest to stay alive. And from the beginning, I met him. Wow. He, was talking about he like said the talking. motivation and the interest. Wow, bro, that's crazy. Looking like a child. Damn. Said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to beat all these guys. Oh, shit. This child's playing again, and bro. Stay alive, bro. Please. Fight yet, and he's told me all these things. I need you. Me. I'm a little kid. He said, you're going to be the world champ. You get emotional when you talk about cuss. I didn't know I was the one. How did he know that I was we the one? Specimen. Damn. Things were Tyson, when I first had him, he was 190 pounds, the multiple what muscles, the hell? 12 years old. His anger cloaked him in a shroud of intimidation. I'm only 12 or 13 at the time. And I can take my title. You're the champ, fight smart. I like a tiger. But um, I was a monster, man. Oh, man. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 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 And it was two years in a row that I took him in, and he won him by first round knockouts fuck? in every fight. Is that another victim? Bro, Mike Tyson has to, bro, he has to ban him, bro. They should have banned him from this point on, bro. He's out here killing his opponents. He's not just winning matches. He's slaughtering people. This dude is literally killing all his players. They're checking his eyesight? Is he alive? Two in a row that I took him in. They're not moving an inch. Bro, this is the dead body. First round knockouts in every fight. Mike Tyson, damn! Eight second knockout in the first round. Fuck! Eight second knockout. Let's go. The uh, help that Cus gave Mike was not only in the ring, but out of the ring. 
And even though I had a mother and family, that was my first encounter with love. Yes. Damn. And so you were the son he never That's had. That's deep. And I feed the fire until it becomes a roaring blaze. And then when it becomes a roaring blaze, I pour a huge logs on. And then you really got to fire. I like the head. I like that. I like that. That's what I told people. That's what I try to do. Hey, I like. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. This is sweet. This is sweet. Yeah, they adopted me for, um, from 14 to 19 till he died. 14 and 19. Okay, well, here's his house. Yeah. Did you live there at his house with yeah. him? Yeah. For how they adopted long? me for, um, from 14 to 19 till he so died. So he got adopted. From 14 to 19 until he died. Damn. So he didn't even. Wow, bro. He couldn't even see the what really happened. Damn, bro. Because he was only 19 years old, bro. He ain't even. He was just getting started. He was literally just getting started. And thank God, you know what I'm saying? He, he was even alive from even them years. He said he didn't want to be alive no more. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, bro. I know, too. It was probably a thing of where, like. His his soul and his spirit, you know what I'm saying? It, it probably helped him, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how many people out there are spiritual or whatever, um, but this type of stuff I believe in, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he, you know what I'm saying? He he helped him out, bro, you know what I'm saying? So especially with people you loved and like close ones and stuff like that. They say it all the time, bro. They say it all the time, so. I feel like he was a part of that too. Fight in the Junior Olympic Championship. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh my god, that was cringy. That was the cringiest rage I've ever seen in my life, bro. This nigga take his mouthpiece out and kick it? What the fuck? He just kicked it into somebody in the stands. Now imagine you just sitting there eating your food and that fucking mouthpiece hit you in the fucking face. Nasty ass mouthpiece. And then it's not even Mike Tyson mouthpiece. It's the it's the loser mouthpiece. I don't want to eat your mouthpiece, nigga. At least leave me Mike Tyson, at least. What the fuck? He oh had God. maybe a dozen fights <laughs> in the Junior Olympic Championship, and he knocked out oh. every fighter he fought to win the national championship twice. Come on, come on. Uh, Mike, come on. They, 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 they stop. You know, and it's like, wow, Mike Tyson. You're Mike Tyson, aren't you? He's got the physique. He's strong. You know, he's awesome looking. But he, he's a kid in a man's body. Everyone wanted yeah. a piece of the champion Wait, destroyer kids. from the West. He's a kid in a man's body. See, everything, um... Cuts told me I believed it because I achieved it. Mike skipped the Olympics and opted to turn pro as soon as possible. The professional team Mike Olympics. Tyson and the white trunks. This kid with a butcher block body just beating the bajabbers out of people in a wham bam thank you ma'am fashion. Body shots, body shots, body shots. They gonna hit too. They gonna hit too. The body shots. The body shots. In round one, that is a pretty impressive professional debut. He did not. How do you, bro? Let's be honest, bro. Because, because see, listen, thing. When I watch all this, I get motivated. You know what I'm saying? I want to go out here and do this. So let's. So now I'm thinking about how I'm gonna do this. All right, how am I gonna do this? So okay, now let me know, bro. Now. If you're doing so, okay, so say you plan to get somebody like Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying, and you can't, you trying to block, cause you see he's trying to block, he's trying to block. He, can't, he he got hit in the face already, and he he wants to block now. So if I'm in a situation like this, what would I do? What's the best thing to do? Like, cause obviously Mike Tyson hitting your body is a great um, it's a great alternative to your blocking. You know what I'm saying? Cause now you can't just sit here and just block your face the whole time, and you're good. You have to worry about your body. And, and, and if I keep hitting your body, keep hitting your body, you're gonna lose the match. So what 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 do you do in a situation like? Is, is are you just fucked? Like I think you had to like just try to move out the way, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. Why why did he just stand there like that? Nah, think about it. Why is he just standing? There? He did. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, he just stand on. This is not gonna take too long. He debuted. Yeah, you out the way, bro. Tremendous fanfare. He just sitting there, just getting hit. <laughs> it's going down. What is you doing? What is it in round one? That is. A Maybe he was stunned. Game. He might have been stunned. He did not disappoint. And you just wonder how much 
of a tight schedule. Costamardo and Jimmy Jacobs, his two managers, are going to throw at him. Jim Jacobs and Bill Caton were the management behind Tyson's early career. Jim Jacobs and Costamardo were very, very close friends. And he served as another strong father figure for Tyson to confide in. But when I leave, he not only will know how to fight, he will not only understand many things, but he'll also be able to take care of himself because I have good friends like Jim Jacobs and Bill Cate who are thoroughly and completely honest. Jacobs also regards himself as Mike Tyson's best friend. Jacobs had a very good relationship with Tyson. It was like a big brother, little brother type. Bill and I both feel that Mike Tyson is definitely going to be the heavyweight champion of the world. The real question is when. Well, we're showing Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Just about a month ago in round one. Well, we didn't get much of a chance to see Tyson. Yes, from him. That was one of the best. Much. Hey, that was one of the best combos I oh, I've ever seen, bro. Oh my god! It's to see Tyson. Mother up, what? Mother up, up. Singleton touches down. Storming his way through one pro after another. Down goes Singleton again. A left hook this time. The guy just walked this away. Boy is just tough. walked just away. A perpetual motion machine <laughs> so far. This isn't going to go too long. We're already in round one. <laughs> the referee humanely has seen enough. Tyson. Ah! Y'all just think. No, he might hit him again, bro. Chill. He might hit him again. Chill, 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 yeah, bro. Right, you can't defend this, bro. Like, honestly, bro. This dude right here is just... As if disappointed yeah. that the fight is over so quickly, walks back to his corner. And when he turned professional in early 1985, he wanted to get him into the arena, back to the gym. If you let him run wild, he's going to get in trouble. I think that, in a way, Mike oh, Tyson okay. is an American pit bull. Yeah, and that he was trained you know, to be a killer in the ring. Because you know he can't hit you back. Man, so that core. Bomb with all that the core. You can generate. That core. Mike insisted on knocking out at least one sparring partner a week. <laughs> what the? the fuck? Insisted on knocking out at least one. Bro, see, this is why I love Joseph Vincent videos, bro. Like, you know how he just come in out of nowhere saying this shit, like, he know that shit funny as hell. He said about, he said about Mike what? insisted on knocking out at least one sparring partner a week. And then I got this video right here. What the hell is this? That's what I want to know. Is he, is he strengthening his neck? Is this neck strengthening? Knocking out at least one sparring partner. And he, and look, look, look. And the, the knocking Mike out, look at this. insisted on knocking out at least one spar. He really, he knocking out his sparring partner, bro. You can't even spar against him. You can't who you can't even spar against him. You're gonna get knocked. Bro, that's scary. that's actually scary, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's scary. Bring a partner a week. Gus used to say that so knock everybody out because you wouldn't have nobody to spar yeah. with. Okay. Jacobs and Cuss had an right. ambitious plan for young Tyson. He was just an amazing man. And once I met him and I I was getting in trouble a lot, but once I met this guy, my whole life has changed. You know? What do you mean like this? Like, yeah. I thought it was only when you two over here. They recognized the need to keep Mike busy, so Tyson fought almost monthly. That's his trainer, Kevin Rooney, who was a pretty decent welterweight in his day. Five foot ten. He is not a big heavyweight. He's only a kid. A mentor and father figure, Customato, has been raising him in the fisticarts. Tyson, was, he was like a sponge. He just absorbed everything that Cus had to teach him. His marauding style, coupled with blistering speed and head movement, seemed unstoppable. Head movement, throwing the punches with, with bad intention. Take your eyes off the ring card, girl. Watch the fight. We've had a good first round between Mike Tyson and his third pro opponent, Don Halpin. 
definitely was hurt there. Looks apprehensively at Tyson. Ooh. It's like good oh, right oh, hand. Oh. Help him down. Early in the fourth. Can Tyson finish this? I think so. Damn. Damn. A jolting little left hook. That oh. should have been down to you. He's got it too. Quickly developed a reputation for first round knockout. Did you, did you ever stop and think like, man, how lucky am I that I ran into that man? No, no. He said he summons me. He summoned you. Whoa. He summoned you. Because if you take a boy and you take him out of fight from beginning to end, part of you is in him too. So that when he fights, part of you is in that ring. From Catskill, New York, he is undefeated in three professional bouts, all victories, all knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Mike Tyson. Mm. Mm. This mm. horrific mm. storming destroyer just coming after your soul. Your soul is mine. Damn. 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 A steam hammer. Boy, that was fast. Boy, that was hard. 220 pounds, but moved like a 160 pound guy. Pounds, but moved like a 160 pound guy. Oh! Oh, left, left the legs have gone. Ding. This is all over. Yes, it is. Oh, legs crazy. I don't believe it. That's that's well inside a minute. Tyson absolutely destroyed him there. Kevin Rooney rounded out Team Tyson. I, mean, I remember Cut showing him how to throw the uppercut with the proper snap. And Mike would come right over here in the mirror and just practice it. For like, you know, round after round. Together with Cuss, they molded Tyson into a force of devastation. Bang, over here. Bang, with the left hook here, over here. Great boxing manager. Great man. That was a, that was a, a great point in my life. You know, America, the world, America is run by money. Run by business is run by money. Money first, money first. You, the big businessmen, they make decisions based on money. I have never seen a shirt, a plain white shirt, and this has Mike Tyson on it. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? I have never seen a shirt like this. How the money, cuss with the out, principle. What was, what was right and what was wrong? And money meant nothing to him. He used to tell me to be careful of this, to watch out for this. And everything that he said when he was alive came true teacher of young boys. Tyson not only has a very hard, terrific punch in either hand, but he has developed elusive qualities and has the most important quality, the will to win. While in the gym, he practiced Amato's peekaboo style, fighting with one's hands high, as if in a defensive screen. He has the ability, he has the potential, and most of all, he has the desire. He really wants to be a champion. Let's think about it. Ow. Fighter who's a devastating puncher. You cannot really, calculatingly, plan for a fight to go eight rounds or ten rounds. Yes, uh, Mike Tyson, in my opinion, the most exciting young heavyweight in boxing. He keeps punching. Schedule six, but hold on to your hat. Nobody thinks it's going to go that far. Mm. Mm. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Body shot. Yep, body shot. Down he goes, the left hook. Just Body shot, I knew it too. So I'm literally learning this shit. Watch it, I'm literally learning from it, bro. That's crazy. Ah. Down he Damn. goes, the left hook. Damn. Just buried him, dug him in the ribs. It was a and Michael left and a right. Johnson went goodbye. <laughs> he don't want to. He don't want to fight. He don't want to fight. Oh, he got back in the ring. All right, shit. All right. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, 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 what? I hope he's not hurt because that was a bro. His head went the other way, bro. Oh my god! Damn, he almost broke his neck. He had so much force; it was a knockout. But he almost just twisted this dude's neck the whole other way. Mike Tyson. I hope he's not hurt because that was a How brutal was wide open punch. I'll tell you, Michael yeah. Jack Johnson earned his money the hard way tonight. And still undefeated, Mike Tyson, the man 
in the truest sense is an animal, but we say that in a positive way. To use the word animal might be the bit of disrespect, really, but he, he certainly was. Oh, his teeth he, come he out? He feared nothing, and he was. He brilliantly. He knocked his teeth out? Nigga lost full teeth? Oh, but we say that. He knocking niggas' teeth out, too, bro. Mouthpiece don't even work fighting against Mike Tyson. You, you, you shouldn't even wear a mouthpiece. In a positive way. To use the word animal might be the He's still not. But he, he certainly was. Bro, that, I, he I, I, feared I, nothing and he was brilliantly trained and managed. What the fuck? He was well looked after and well taught, you know. Um. Well, eight previous opponents thought that they were the toughest for Mike Tyson. Donnie Long may well be. Donnie Long was nicknamed the Master of Disaster. Will this be a win that puts Donnie Long back into the heavyweight picture? This will be a win that let everybody know that Donnie Long is back. He boasted Tyson would be a you, springboard nigga? for Who his career. That? Man your battle stations, this is going to be a good one. Schedule you know you going against? Mike Do you Tyson know who you going against? on the road. He's only been fighting professionally for nine months, but so far very impressive, John. That power is awesome. Tyson again, another one of those fresh youngsters. It's gonna be a quick one. This gonna be a quick. This gonna be quick. Years of age. Oh, he's 19. Yeah, he's 19 still. Yep, I knew it. Who the fuck do you think he? Who did he think he was? I'm confused. That was quick. Tyson putting him down here early. This is very impressive. Mike Tyson not expected to come out this strong against Long. Five of eight have fallen in the first with a strong right hand barrage. Oh, oh my God, bro. He just he, he's closely missing some key hits bro he is i think the other person he, he i think it wasn't even the other person dodging it i think he just missed by itself he just missed bro five of eight have fallen in the first these three if he would have hit this one he would have been gone if he would have hit this one he would have been gone he just those two right there those was the oh oh <laughs> oh and he, and he was just this close right out of the world time he was this close too Damn, oh. This is as bad as I've ever seen Donnie Long look. Yep. Don't, don't let one of them motherfuckers land. Don't let him land. Yep, see? The first one that landed. The first one that landed, he failed. The first one. To see Long when he thought he was going to get up. And then just kind of... I know there's a guy smiling out there. Gusty, him get up. Interesting to see Long. When he thought he was... I was worried. Like, why he get up, he get up so fast? You know what I'm saying? Then he was... going to get up. And then... And then Larry went to sleep. And they learn with us. <laughs> oh shit! This thing you got up and went back to sleep. When he thought he was gonna get up, and then just trying to crumple down again. Well, oh, that's how I be when you, your mama wake up for, for school in the morning. You be like, huh? Okay, okay, I'm about to get up. I'm about to get up. <laughs> I didn't do that shit all the time, bro. I used to wake up and go right back to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Tyson's ascent continued. A lot of people came to look. Jesse Ferguson came to look. The Frasers came yeah. to look. James Broad was out there. Thank all of you. All of you come get some. Cause Mike Tyson's out here. He's waiting for you. All come get some. Cuss believing that he cared for the downtrodden people. He really was that guy. He was the guy that fought for the people that that didn't have um, anyone to fight for. Them. I mean, a coward and a hero, there's no, they're, they're the same. I mean, they feel the same. It's what they do that makes them different. It's what he does that makes him a hero, and what the other fellow doesn't do that makes him a coward. Mike Tyson undefeated in his 10th professional fight against Robert Colet. And with a fellow with this type of competitive spirit and the punching power, Damn. I can't see him Damn. lose. Damn. Left hook, good night. What a great shot. They keep wheeling him out. He keeps knocking him over. Okay, look at the stats. Ten fights, ten wins, seven inside the first round. Tyson in Seven in five. Rooney. Seven in five. <laughs> Is it getting a bit too easy for Mike Tyson? <laughs> because in my opinion, the mind and emotions are about 75% of box. Tragically, Custy Amato passed away. The only real father figure Mike had ever known was gone. And then, you know, actually, 
it's actually messed up to say. I feel like kind of it's not really that much, but I feel like because he already say he already know how to control his emotions and stuff like that. So he already had that eager, that drive, and all that to already want to um, get out there and have so much like emotion. He was like you seen it. He was always mad, bro. That was just, he had to be mad to be fighting people like that. He had to be mad. He was mad about something. You know what I'm saying? So you know how to control his emotions and stuff like that and, and access that anger. You feel me? Now, this, him dying, is going to unleash a whole nother beast. That's a whole nother beast. That's a whole nother beast. And, and he was like his first father figure. He said he first time feeling loved and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, as I said, it's messed up to say, but it's, it's low-key like, what, does, did it low-key help him? Like, it helped him to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's messed up to say, but like... Your mic had ever known was gone. Cuss had surrounded Tyson with everything he'd ever need to carry on. A trusted management team with Jim Jacobs and Bill Caton. A loving trainer in Kevin Rooney, who'd been brought up by Cuss himself. Hmm. Tyson still lives in the home owned by the D'Amato family. The Tyson story is more... You know, more to... In my opinion, anyway, the custom model story. If Cuss would have remained in your life, story. a little bit longer <laughs> the custom family. The Tyson story is more, you know, more to, in my opinion, anyway, the custom model story. If Cuss would have remained in your life a little bit longer. So, yeah, okay, so this is a good question. So, do y'all think that Mike Tyson would have made it this far without custom model? Let me know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Do you think that? your life would have turned out a little bit different? Totally different. I feel like his mm. career and his life would have been very different if Cus didn't die when he did. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. You miss him to this day? Do you think, Mike, that if he had lived, that your life would have been different? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The late and what do they mean by that? What do they mean? If, like, what do you mean by his life would have been different? Like, as in what? Like, I'm confused. Like, would he? Were you saying would he not be? I'm confused. Like, you think so? If, if he would have stayed alive, he still would have had as much success as he would. Like, I'm confused. Like, what they mean by that? Like, I don't know. Would have been different. Oh yeah. Or is it just yeah. like emotion? Like emotionally feel? Like he would just been felt different? Like different? Obviously, because he alive. You know what I'm saying? Or is it more of a like? Because he already had the most success. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he literally did everything he's supposed to do. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The late and legendary trainer Customato was the only real father figure Mike Tyson ever knew. I had 10 fights, but very few of them go past the first round. The bobbing and the weaving, the constant head movement, oh the crouching, etc. What the fuck? God damn! <laughs> He got shot, bro. Bro got shot. First punch he threw. Eddie Richardson looking at the referee is in much disbelief as we are. Tyson <laughs> is a little icebox rather than a refrigerator. I'll tell you what. a dear friend in Customato not too long ago and uh, a lot of people thought you might not come down here and fight. You were quoted as saying uh, Cus would have wanted to go. Well most definitely even though he didn't Customato um, being around him since the age of 13 I'm more like business orientated and I know not to let anything get involved in business. You know things happen we all have disappointments but we can't we can't let these things stop our lives. We have to go in. The heavyweight division is and that's and that and that this this speech right here this literally showed you how good coached he was, how well coached he was. It literally shows you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it's definitely this is exactly right, bro. You know what I'm saying? So they, so I think so. A lot of people was thinking around this time that he wouldn't fight no more. That's crazy. Dang, they was thinking he wouldn't fight. Imagine if Mike Tyson didn't fight. Dang. No, nah, so that's that's what I'm saying. That would just been like, you know what I mean? That would just. We don't have disappointments, but we can't we can't let these things stop our lives. We have to go. Live. The heavyweight division has always been boxing's glamour group, and now a new star is rising in the division. He's 19-year-old Mike Tyson.
Mike Tyson, like Muhammad Ali, transcends the sport of boxing. I mean, dude, remember when we used to think that nobody could beat Tyson? Yeah. Remember? I'm expecting not a Mack truck, but an express train to run over a guy that's standing on the track saying, stop. Blood coming from the nose of Sammy Scaff already. A big left hook. Everybody right thinks there. that uh, no one can challenge Mike Tyson right now. You could take oh, anybody out. Oh, shit. Damn. My, my mission is to go and destroy and not to let anything get involved. You get punched, you get hurt. I refuse to be hurt, knocked down, and knocked out. I can't lose. I refuse to lose. The raging bull, Jake LaMotta, had an ominous warning for the young fighter. Keep yourself stay away from all the garbage out there. Yeah. There's a lot of garbage out there. Oh, yeah. Well, why do women like, have to be garbage, though? No, I know. I know, but it's, uh, unfortunately, guys like you and I, we attract garbage. <laughs> Tell me about this approach of yours to boxing. You enter the ring, you wear black, uh, you don't wear socks. I'll tell you, Mike Tyson is coming wear to socks. fight tonight. That's the first time I've seen a main event fighter come in the ring with no robe on. He says, I'm ready to go. Let's just do it. Oh, this guy is like a, like a ball of granite. Don't go to the bathroom. Don't get a snack. Don't even get up to look for the channel changer. This fight is not going to get outside the first round. <laughs> so you turn that bitch on. Damn! Awesome. Did he even hit him? Did he even hit him? What the fuck? I thought he missed! I thought he missed! How did he, this nigga knocking people out without knocking them out? I've never seen that in my life. He broke his nose? Awesome is an overused word. What the fuck this nigga? <laughs> Tyson is wow. Absolutely awesome. I had 15 wow. fights in one year, 15 knockouts wow. on your ticket. Send it to wow. all the sportscasters, mm -hmm. and they come in, and people just start bidding to have me fight in that, that city or whatever, that town. Mm -hmm. David Jacob, the white fighter in the dark blue trunks, mixed it with the best. Tony Tucker, Pierre Kutza, he's knocked out Razor Rudder. Can't fault this quality of opponent for Mike Tyson. Tyson had made believers out of the public. Day. His capturing the heavyweight title seemed like a foregone conclusion. Many who are predicting that Mike Tyson will be the next heavyweight champion. Yes, that's true. Mike is a ray of sunshine coming to the heavyweight division. Kid Dynamite. But the majority of the boxing world picture him as the man who will be king. Tyson Mania took the sporting world by storm. He has recently been on the cover of national magazines, notably Sports Illustrated and The Ring magazine, a feature in People magazine. I don't believe there's ever been a fighter who has reached this prominence this quickly in the history of boxing. People don't realize that heavyweight boxing in the early 80s was dead. Nobody cared because Larry Holmes, after he beat Muhammad Ali, everybody was sad. It was like a sad thing. You wonder what pressure if any, Tyson experiences at this stage of his career. Mm. Oh. Blood coming out from the nose of Jesse Ferguson, the right uppercut. And of course, as a result, generated far more press and far more coverage on television than any fighter in boxing history. I want to tell you one thing, being there, we were right at ringside. I have been to a lot of fights, right? And I have never heard punches like I've heard your punches. I mean, I've seen punches, but I've never heard them. They were the loudest. Either you hit the hardest, or that man was just like made of cement or something. Everybody's been talking about the young man from the Catskill area. 18 fights so far in his professional career in just one year as a pro. Another spectacular first round knockout. Trying to make every shot count. Everyone is a grenade. <laughs> 14 months ago, Tyson was earning under $1,000 a fight. Today, separate deals with ABC and HBO have brought in over $2 million for eight fights. And then there's his age. At 19, is it too much to ask to be the heavyweight champ of the world? And when I walked in that building and Mike Tyson walked into the ring without robe and the reaction of the crowd, I had never at any time seen anything like that. He wears no robe. He wears no socks with his boxing shoes. He says that that makes...
makes him feel more like a warrior, more like a gladiator as he enters the ring. And it <laughs> so he ain't wearing no robe. That's actually funny as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. That's actually funny. Okay. With his boxing shoes, he says that that makes him feel more like a warrior, more like a gladiator as he enters the ring. And he clips right. Floyd Patterson as the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. If he wins the title anytime before May 5, 1988. Oh, Mike Oak has an ability to Ooh. slip punches that has Ooh. not been Ooh. seen Ooh. in the heavyweight ranks since oh. Muhammad Ali. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Oh my god. What the fuck? What did I just watch? What did I just watch? Mike has an ability to slip punches that has not been seen in the heavy rate ranks since Muhammad Ali. Bro, you know how mad I would be, bro? He dodged, I threw 20 punches. He dodged every single one. I landed one of them 20 punches. And then the first punch he throws at me, I get knocked out. I can't come back to the ring after that one. Mm -mm. I can't come back to the ring, bro. I can't. Ooh! Damn! That is sweet! Bro, this is amazing. That is amazing. So wait, did, I don't think... He, okay, wait, he didn't get hit by it. Did he get hit by it or did he not? It looked like he didn't. From this angle, the first angle looked like he did get it, but this angle looked like he didn't get it. So I don't know. I know he got hit. It was now that Don King made his first appearance in Tyson's career. Here's 80s Tyson speaking about King, juxtaposed with present-day Tyson. Don King has been, uh, helped me through a great deal of pressure when I was going through distress. Bill King didn't care to put two cents in. No one else can help. So no one can tell me anything bad about Don King. If I say Don King's a no-good, lousy thief, then everybody can believe me he's a no-good. <laughs> then, then I got caught up with this other piece of <laughs> Don King, who's a wretched, who's just a wretched, slimy, retaliant mother. So it's more than just have. a business relationship. Absolutely. Basically, he's just like anyone else. He's a father, he has children, he loves his grandkids, and he's, he's happy, and he's happy with life. He's very successful. Now he's just um, he's just a bad man. He's a real bad man. He abused you, and he would throw you. He's ruthless, he's, a, he's deplorable. He doesn't know how to love anybody. Do you think he ever, as people said about others, robbed from you? I don't believe he ever robbed from me. John King is facing a grand jury investigation and there are accusations that he mishandled Mike Tyson's well, money. Well, just let me see, only in America, it says, I'm excited about HBO having a fantastic show tonight, another sellout for HBO. The trajectory of Mike's life was about to change. It's Mike, big Mike Tyson. He got a tattoo. Ring, set for that yeah, next step. Fuck. Backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson. <clears throat> the count is six. The count is eight. He will not get up. It's over. I wonder how that feels. Sam, show me what heavyweight throws punches that quick. This man's talents and skills and how he's honing those skills. Talking to Jim Jacobs there. But here, the spotlight falls most directly on 20-year-old Mike Tyson, whose public appeal grows every time he fights. Marvis Brazier, who has just entered the ring here in the Glens Falls. So speaking of that tattoo, because I ain't gonna lie, this tattoo just literally... And I don't know why I'm thinking about it, bro. I've never seen a tattoo like this. He got just a tattoo. First, I see the, the shirt, just a plain shirt with Mike Tyson on it. So that's already like, okay. Yo, the then we see this, they got a tattoo of just Mike. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So, since we about 45, 49 minutes into the video, you know what I'm saying? This video, we, the video, this video is 49 minutes. But the actual video I'm watching right now, we're 30 minutes into an hour long video. 
So I literally made an hour long video out of just 30 minutes. That's how much greatness I didn't see. But if you are watching this far, I thank you and I love you. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching this far. Now, to see who really watching, we're gonna play a, we're gonna play a little game, all right? The game is comment a word. Word of the day is Mike Tyson. Or it's two words, but same thing. All right. I'm Mike Tyson, so I see you still watching. Three of Mike's life was about to change. Spike, big Mike He's Tyson in the what ring. The fuck? Set for that what the next is? step. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Yo. That is actually funny. Body by Tyson. The count is six. The, the count is eight. He will not get up. It's over. Sam, show me what heavyweight throws punches that quick. This man's talents and skills and how he's honing those skills. Talking to Jim Jacobs there. But here, the spotlight falls most directly on 20-year-old Mike Tyson, whose public appeal grows every time he fights. Marvis Brazier, who has just entered the ring here in the Glens Ball Civic Center. The record 16-1 and one with seven knockouts. You know, because I started to learn who I could really be. Not who I wanted to be, but who I could be at that particular stage of my life. Tyson comes out slugging. He comes out smoking like Marvis's father, Joe. <laughs> Damn. He gone. He gone. You got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look, 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 look. Wait a minute, bro. This is like this is like how I be in the TV shows, bro. He knocked him out. Look, he knocked him out. Bam, that's knocked out. Bam. So he already knocked the fuck out. Now he woke him back up. That one woke him back up. He got knocked out. Then he got woke back up. Now he woke, woke back up. Then he knocked the nigga out again. He knocked him out again. Again. You got knocked the fuck out, bro. I never seen him get knocked out twice. Bro, I knocked out twice. His fastest knockout, which came against Marvis Frazier in 1986. Right now, there is Jim Jacobs, yes. manager of Mike Tyson talking to him. Look at a guy like Mike Tyson. Man, and his prime. God, bro. Hey, I mean, man. he was the epitome of dedication. I had a fight. I was confident. I trained real hard with my trainer, Kevin Rooney, who I owe a great deal to. Kevin Rooney had guided Tyson's training every step of the way. Much like Mike, Rooney was a disciple of Diamato and had been with Mike since he was a kid. Their closeness allowed Rooney to continue to press Tyson for strict training discipline, despite Tyson's growing fame and ego. Well, the fact remains, the press and the public alike continuing to sing the praises of this man, Mike Tyson. They think the next great champion. You would get into the ring and people were scared of you. Okay, don't anybody go to the toilet or the refrigerator. Mike Tyson, a short working hours, he punches in and punches out. <laughs> He's so like, yeah, short hours. What fascinated me about you is this ability you have to intimidate <laughs> opponents. A lot of them seem to have been beaten before they got in the ring almost. To weaponize fear in a way few ever have. He's scared. When you came around, all of a sudden, everybody's watching heavyweight boxing. Motherfucking god damn boring again. Damn boy, you're not the stupid most crazy exciting thing in sports. <laughs> god damn! He's staying up though, he's staying up, he's staying up. Oh. 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 This is the first round, bro. Have we Oh, that says round 10. That's round 10. Okay, this is round. Okay, I'm about to say, I really want to see a Mike Tyson fight go, uh, like, last a long time. So, he lasted with Mike Tyson. All right, I actually give you, I'll give you that. You know what I'm saying? Good shit. Because these punches right here, bro, <laughs> most people can't handle this. So, if you handling this, you doing something right. God damn. Mike Tyson, at age 20, would contend for the WBC heavyweight title. You will have Hold on y'all, hold on real quick. All right, we're back. Appear for the WBC heavyweight title. You will have a shot. It appears at the heavyweight title. The undefeated heavyweight has signed to fight in the HBO title unification series and he'll face Trevor Burbick, the WBC title holder, probably sometime this fall. And if Tyson should beat Burbick, 
he would become the youngest man in history ever to win the heavyweight championship. Bur Burby was the last person to fight Ali, and he hurt Ali very bad. When, wow. when you fought him, was there any revenge? A hundred percent, yes, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, I can't wait till I get him. Him and Larry Holmes. The fight brought out all the A-listers and Tony Danza. I laugh at Tony Danza. And I'm super creepy, Rob Lowe. In the morning, I'm making waffles. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say that too. So how y'all feel about Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson? Now that's the real question. That's the real question. So now the moment of truth is not far off. This will be the WBC heavyweight championship of the world. He could go into the record books tonight if he can capture the title. Here's they got a prison champ, Trevor Burbank. This is what Mike Tyson has trained his whole life for. This is what Customano and Jimmy Jacobs train this man for. I believe he will be the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. And if he remains dedicated, interested, and without any distractions, I believe that eventually he will go down in history as the greatest heavyweight champion ever. Question's always talking about the situation. You're saying, you know, if you really took a deep interest in it, you would be champ of the world. And if there was no problem, you would be champ. There is electricity in the crowd. I've got goosebumps on the line. The WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Damn. I, it would have been, it would have it happened to any fighter because at this particular point I was throwing, I, what can I say, hydrogen bombs. Every punch was with murderous intention. Damn. Damn. You talk Damn. about being on, Damn. The stage on a moment and capturing Fuck. that moment. Just, nah, don't try to talk shit to him. You get your ass beat. He tried to be little. Don't try to do all that shit. Nah, bro. Nah. Nah, I ain't gonna try to talk shit after he got his ass beat. That's how you know he get his ass beat. He mad. He just mad. He, get... <laughs> he mad. All you can, bro. That's literally funny because all you can do is talk. This is the only thing you can do. This is the only thing he could do. Because if he try to fight him, what's gonna happen? You'll get your ass knocked the fuck out. This is literally. He's all talk. <laughs> What the fuck? Wow. This is round two. The WBC heavyweight championship of the world. Trevor Burbick and Mike Tyson. That was the coming out. That was the star going on Broadway and saying, I am a star. Look at me. And he's down. He'll have to take the standing eight count as he steps right up the count to four. He absolutely destroyed him. He knocked him all over the ring. It was over in two rounds. And I haven't even seen him throw a punch. This guy is going to be the champion for a decade or more. Tyson seized the title well, in lucky spectacular fashion. He goes down. He should be able to get him. He should be able to get him. He should be able to get him. He's 20 years old. Ah! He is, uh, <laughs> He's 20 years old. <laughs> he is uh, quite an incredible force. Bro, why didn't they move? You see, he about to fall on you. Why didn't you move out the way? You literally right in front of your face. Mike is a boy prodigy. He's 20 years old. He is uh, quite an incredible force in the heavyweight division, but he's just a boy. He can't get up. He can't get up. <laughs> No, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Mike Tyson, Stop trying to get up. 20, Stop trying to get up. Heavyweight champion in boxing history. <laughs> I think his main thing going into this fight, he probably all he can think about is how he don't want to go down. That's the only thing he can think about. Don't go down. Don't go down. You see, every time he went down, he got right back up. He tried as hard as to get back up. That was that was the, he tried hard. He I ain't even seen him throw a punch the whole fight. All I see him do is get his ass hit. He just keep getting hit. All I see him get hit. But as soon as he go down, he get up though, real quick. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the only that's that's the that's the main thing he went to this fight doing, bro. I don't think he even wanted. He didn't even think about winning. That's why that's why he talking shit. All you do is talk shit. Okay, he, I ain't th like I said, I don't think I see him throw one punch, bro. I'm so serious. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. 
What the fuck, bro? This is like right. In a devastating second round knockdown, Mike Tyson, age no. 20. No, 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 yeah, go back. Of course, in the heavyweight division, but he's just a boy. <laughs> In a devastating second round knockdown, Mike Tyson, age 20, became the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history. His managers, cornermen, and friends ran to congratulate him. Tyson kissed Jim Jacobs. Jimmy Jacobs in there. Bill Payton also worked with him. At 20, he was the youngest heavyweight champion in history. If it wasn't for Cuss, this would never this would never happen. The idea I'm the youngest champ in the world. The idea that it'll live forever. The record I think will never be broken. And it's what I can say. He's probably up, up, up there right now saying, you did a lot of mistakes. You did a lot of mistakes. The title brought fame, money, and temptation. In juvenile delinquent to media superstar in seven years. He adorns the covers of magazines. A charismatic young man who displays fearsome power in the ring. What was that like to be the youngest heavyweight champion? Did you get to enjoy it? Or was it just pressure, leeches, trust problems, betrayal, that everything that came with money and success after Yeah, but that? I thought that's that what it was. Hi, I'm Mike Tyson, heavyweight champ of the world. Let's talk boxing. Great champions have their fans. Help me. Help you. Iron Man. Say it. Say no to drugs. But very few have been cheered and loved like this one. Mike Tyson's punch out from Nintendo. Now you're playing with. Damn, they made so much money. The world media has descended on Las Vegas again. And one of them will leave the ring with the WBC and the WBA titles. Astronomers have recently discovered a rare supernova, an exploding star. Mike Tyson is boxing's supernova, a force of nature who has exploded on all of us. Already strapped, Tyson now sought to unify the heavyweight titles. Another big left hand, Thomas is hurt. And now Tyson moves in for the kill. Two up <laughs> and Thomas trying to hold on. Serious trouble. Damn! He don't want to go down. He is eating all of them for some reason. He did. He got the strongest chin we've seen. <laughs> You'll go down eventually. It's over. It is over. Thomas did not make it by the count of ten. I think he's going to be heavyweight champion for a very long, long time. A man with a chance on August one to unify the championship in the eyes of all three existing governing bodies. One man will climb out of this 20-foot square with the undisputed title for the first time since February 15, 1978. Tyson aimed to unify all three heavyweight titles. Mike Tyson entertains the public. When he enters the arena... Bro, who are on, bro? Mike Tyson entertains the public. When he... Mike Tyson entertains three weight titles. Mike Tyson entertains the public. When he enters the arena, now, my bad, y'all. It's the same feeling people get if they're going to watch a picture like Jaws. They know they're going to be shocked, entertained, amazed, but affected emotionally. Ooh. Ooh. He fell through. <laughs> Damn! Seven, he already five, bleeding. Five. You mean tell me that one punch made his ass? Nah, it's all like this off one punch. I usually think that be here like the whole game. After the whole day, you keep getting hit in that spot, keep getting hit. Then it's gonna look like that at the end of it, bro. First punch, he already like this. Five, Damn! Seven, he don't want to get up. He, he he can get up, but he don't want to get up. <laughs> He can get up, but he don't want to get up. <laughs> Would you want to get up? That's the real question. Would you want to get up? I don't want to get up. I'm not getting up. If I get up, I'm right away. That's what I'm going to do. If I get up, I ain't going against Tyson. No. Mike Tyson no. had become the first undisputed heavyweight champion Damn. in 10 years. Well, how many people could handle that, too? I mean, the money, the fame at that age, you're the champ and the baddest man alive. Well, the Holmes fight, Mike was going with three girls, which seemed to be semi-serious about three women. This was Miss America, Robin, and a very gorgeous model. 
Larry Holmes had famously beaten Muhammad Ali down in Ali's final days of boxing. Castiamato took the Holmes beating of Ali so personal, he called Ali the day after to complain about it. The next morning, I cussed him on the phone with Muhammad Ali. How do you let that bum hit on you, Jeb Ali? How do you the bum? Why you let that bum beat on you? You know, because he's almost getting sensitive, you know, emotional. Why is the bum? And he was saying, but I said, when I get big, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him for you. I'm going to revenge you. I'm going to... If I said some stupid I'm going to restore your honor. And then January 22nd, I'm fighting him. And then Ali comes into the ring and says, get him for me. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. If Muhammad Ali walk up to you and say that, nigga, you better get that. You better get him. You better get him. I want to go out there now. Muhammad Ali said in my ear, Muhammad, I'm ready. I'm ready, Muhammad. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. That's all you had to say, bro. Ooh, that's hey, that motivated me. I, I low key want to get out there now. I'm gonna get my ass beat, but just because, <laughs> just because of Bob when I leave, bro. Just because it's him. Get him for me. Ooh, damn. For real though. Yeah, I get him though. When Tyson was in his prime as a So I wonder if Muhammad Ali was uh, low key teaching him. He had to teach. I know Muhammad Ali had to be a coach, bro. He had to coach him a lot. That's how I feel like. I wonder, do they have it? Let me know. Do they have like a relationship? Um, like, do they have a good friend relationship or what? I gotta see about that. Because I, I really want to know about it. Because he's really perfect time. He was a knockout artist. He was so lethal. There had never been a heavyweight like him before. Damn. Oh, a big right hand. And down goes the former champion. 17 seconds. He may be able to get by the round now. He should be hanging on. Now with a right hand. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, that would have been ended. That would have ended it. That that one did. Get him for me. Get him for me. Now he goes. Now he's hurt. It's all over. He is knocked out. Get him for he me. didn't even bother the car. Tyson would marry Robin Gibbons following the fight. Got to marry some people from during my attic stage. And uh <laughs> once Mike got married, uh, Robin uh, Gibbons and Ruth, of course, were very interested in taking over Mike's career. They moved into a grand New Jersey mansion. But as soon as she got married, she called up and said, she's Mrs. Mike Tyson. I'm taking over. I want to see all the books and all the records. The ink wasn't Whoa. dry on their marriage license before she hit the bank. It was reported to us here in New York that Robin and Ruth were at the bank already claiming Mike's account. And Givens began pushing Mike to manage himself, which meant Robin would manage him. Oh my fucking God. Oh my fucking God, Mike Tyson, please, 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 don't do this. Don't let her do this, bro. Don't let her do this. Do not let her do this. And Ruth were at the bank already claiming Mike's account. And Givens began pushing Mike to manage himself, which meant Robin. This is LK messed up, bro, because you think about it like, as it, when you get this famous, you can't even get no, like, you can't find, it's so hard to find true love, bro. You know how hard it is to find it? Every girl wants you, bro. So, and, and then half the girls want to take all your money. Other half, just whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, bro, it's so hard to find, bro. It's so hard to find. You don't know who wants you. Who who actually loves you for you, bro? Look how you're looking right now. He know his girl a gold digger. But he love her, though. He know that. Just don't hit her, bro. All right? Got them vicious-ass knockouts, bro. Just don't hit her, bro. Please, don't hit her with that. <laughs> <laughs> Within two hours of the champion's arrival here, Tyson Mania was in full cry. Mike Tyson is sexy. headed to Japan to face Tony Tubbs. Mike Tyson no Giant. He is a symbol of the United States of America. Now that I'm married, I no longer spend my wealth. My wife spends all my wealth. The new bride's arrival Nigga, what? only added more fuel to what was already the hottest story in town. Tyson spent more time touring the country with Givens than he did training. Mike Tyson fight as Mrs. Champion. <laughs> Robin, uh, inquiring minds want to know, how does a woman who went to Sarah Lawrence and Harvard Medical School wind up falling in love with a guy who's a graduate of the School of Hard Knocks? God, I want to know too. 
there's something we have a lot in common uh, tradition traditional families and and we just sort of love each other I'm, I'm not from there I'm from I'm from the ghetto I'm from the dirt hard bone segregated ghetto that's where I'm from there's something we have a lot in common uh, tradition traditional families <laughs> Tyson exploded on the scene in Japan swarmed by adoring fans he was treated like a fabled warrior from some ancient of course, time. If you have seen Tyson before, you are aware of what is called the gladiator look. No robe, no towels, no socks, just the black trunks, the boots, and the 10 ounce Everlast glove. He brings a professional record of 33 victories without a loss, 29 KOs. Three, and 33 in the first round alone. 33 1. Zero lost, zero draw, 29 KOs. Wow. 33 1, 29 KOs. In the first round alone. So the 15 first in the first Tyson round alone. Been fighting as a professional, the other co manager, Jim Jacobs, has not been able to make this trip. Tyson's head movement was eroding, becoming less and less effective. But Tyson is now being hit, isn't he? Whereas in his early fights, he was. One minute to go in round one. Yeah. Cuss recognized early on the importance of Tyson staying very active. The concept behind Mike fighting every two weeks was customized. But money and the influences of Don King and Robin Givens have altered the way Mike approached his career. 30 seconds left in the round. Both fighters have had their say here. Tubbs is hurt. Oh. <laughs> and the fans enjoy. They show their appreciation here. Damn. This is your first fight as a newlywed. Were you thinking about that at all? Did you want to put on a special performance in any way? Not at all, because when I'm in the ring, I'm objective, tunnel vision. And it's just, this is my world in here. In 1988, Jim Jacobs passed away. Funeral services were held on Hillside Memorial Cemetery for boxing manager Jimmy Jacobs. Manager Jim Jacobs died in 1988. Tyson had lost his second surrogate father. With no love in your life no until love you're in 13. Your life. And then you come into all of this money because you're the best fighter in the world. That created the opportunity for uh, Don King to move in on a confused 21-year-old kid. Before Jacobs was buried, Don King made his move. Boxing complex of promoter Don King has become a home away from home for heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. Now in the picture were a wife, a mother-in-law, promoter, and advisor. Tyson Spinks was the most anticipated heavyweight fight in years. A million dollar gate occurs when the two fighters are so popular that the public demands the fight. But the lead up was dominated by Robin Givens. Robin Givens Tyson has apparently filed a lawsuit against Bill Caton. He was in the, the mix with Givens. Don King is trying to pull him away from Caton. King used the media to insinuate Caton was stealing from Tyson. Ironic, since King would go on to steal over a hundred million dollars from Tyson. Greed reaches at the deepest core of people. It reaches deep at them, and they're fighting for me and stuff and all that crap. And then that made it easy for Don King to. So literally, you get so famous that now, now you gotta worry about everybody trying to take your money, bro. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. You can't trust nobody. You literally cannot trust nobody. Everybody trying to get to it. <sighs> Damn, bro. How, you, how would you say he stole? Look at, look at this smiling. He know he's... Look at this nigga right here, bro. Oh, my God. He know he doing some shit. Look at him. He, he like, ooh, I thought me a motherfucking ham. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers. Oh, I swear to God, bro. Since King would go on to steal over $100 million from Tyson. A hundred M's? Green reaches at the deepest core of people. It reaches deep at them. And they're fighting for me and stuff and all that crap. And then that made it easy for Don King to sneak in. And he used, um, he got me good. So, uh, I'm in the dressing room with Tyson. 
and I'm looking to rattle this guy. The manager of Michael Spinks, who went wild after he discovered that Mike Tyson had had his hands taped. Spinks' manager got cute before the fight and forced Tyson to rewrap his hands to try and throw him off. Tyson began putting his fists through walls in anger. And he's punching. He's punching holes in the wall. The sound prompted Spinks to investigate. Oh, no. This guy's getting ready to fight my guy, my little guy. The undefeated man who brings the drinks, Michael. Oh, he throw you one at home. Okay. As always, no shirt, no robe, no accoutrement. The life that he lived back then was unmanageable. He was the king of the world. He was in his 20s. He was buck wild, just going crazy, flatlining people everywhere he went. People would throw rose petals at his feet and screaming, cheering fans. A record of 34 and 0, and that doesn't count his recent bouts with his wife and his manager. That night, Tyson was as good as any fighter has ever been when they got in that ring. There's something where you attain it heights and you just, you just don't do it again but that night he reached his, his peak it was the most awesome heavyweight fight i ever saw in my life damn oh, the cut landed mm. inside and spinks went down that what the night, fuck? tyson was as good as any heavyweight has ever been and he's down so this again. is the one of the good things about his job is, is is that all this anger he going through it literally helps him out it literally helps him out same with rappers you know what i'm saying because i say often rappers make the best songs when they actually going through something because they know how i feel and they can relate to you so much that's why people love it so much because they can relate to it so when somebody go through something now it's perfect you know what i'm saying now you going through it and they make the best that's every time they make the best hit every time that's exactly how i go now it's the same shit with this. And he's down Take his anger out. And in serious trouble. Hey, he's not going to make it. It's all over. Mike, when he won that title, he had all the titles, and he had he had he was married to Robin Gibbons, and things started to happen, and everything went. All right. As far as my career, you know what I mean, there's no fighter like me. I was reading today, there was some fighters in the papers quoting, I don't like Mike Tyson because he's too cocky and he's arrogant. But for all the fighters that said that, you know what I mean, I let them know, there's no fighter like me and I can beat any man in the world. Bill Caton managed Tyson's career from the beginning, but was forced out of his job the night of the Sphinx fight. Tyson fired Bill Caton, turning to Don King for management and promotion. He changed entirely. His marriage and Don King changed him into a different person. After his marriage to Robin Givens and his association with Don King, Tyson's life seemed to unravel lawsuits, car accidents, and domestic brawls. After the Sphinx fight, Tyson went into a downward spiral of legal troubles and financial issues. The stormy summer of 88, the broken hand against Mitch Green. Mitch Green threw the first blow. He punched him in the chest, uh, right around, you know, this area right here. Green suffered an injury to his eye. Tyson, a hairline fracture to his right hand. And who knows how much... Wait, so you mean tell me if I fight Mike Tyson, i never have an eye again? That's you mean to tell me? Now he got permanently walking around with glasses. Oh, my God. You think this nigga got two eyes. This nigga really staring at you like this. He barely can see. Oh, time. Glasses make like he got the best vision ever. That nigga, hey, he, he can barely see, bro. No. No. You mean to tell me if I might? Oh. Oh. To his eye. Tyson, a hairline fracture to his right hand. And who knows how much damage to his reputation. Early this morning, Tyson was expected to appear at New York's 25th Precinct. He wrecked his car after a reported heated argument with Robin Givens. My belief. Mike really turned into the Mike we know today as his marriage to Robin Gibbons came apart. So did he. In a nationally televised interview, Robin Gibbons told Barbara Walters that Tyson was a manic depressive. He 
gets out of control. Um, throwing, screaming. A charge that would later. Oh my God! This is with them girls, bro. Them girls. Hey man, all the kings, bro. Just make sure y'all do what y'all gotta do, man. Cause these girls will definitely throw you off your track, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know sometimes you might feel like you love her, or you feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's just emotions, bro. It's just emotions. You never know what she doing. You never know how she really feel. You know what I mean? It's cliche to say, bro, but you can honestly know with her, you can just tell. Like, you literally just look at her and tell she trying. She just look like she on some sneaky shit, bro. Can't you just sometimes you just look at a person and tell that they on some like they just not up to no good. Just look how she taught all her mannerisms. Like she just looked like she just trying to steal some shit. And this is the per this is the perfect thing too, because girls in court will always win. Girls will always win. No matter if it's a girl and a boy case, if girls say you did something, the court gonna believe her. They're not believing this shit you say. So it's part look look and and Mike Tyson is a heavyweight boxer. So it's so easy to say, oh yeah, he look look she she, she doing it right now. Barbara she doing Walters, it. The Tyson was a manic depressive. He gets out of control. Um throwing, screaming. A charge that would later prove groundless. He shakes, he pushes, he um he swings. It went up. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> she doing it. 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 She doing it, bro. She doing it. 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 And look how you looking. This bitch didn't got me. Exactly what he's saying. This bitch didn't got me. She practiced this line. Oh, she practiced this line for so long. She practiced this line for so long. It oh, look how she slowly built up to it. Jackson was a manic depressive. He gets out of control. Um, throwing, screaming. A charge that would later prove groundless. He shakes. He pushes. He now I don't know if this is what like I said. We don't, and we don't even know if it's true or not. We don't know. No one knows. And this is why the girl will always win in the court. Because we never know. If it's not cameras, 24-7 uh, surveillance, you can never, you know what I'm saying? That's why you just can't trust all the, you just got to stay away from them, bro. You got to stay away, bro. Stay away until you can, until you know for sure. You got to just know for sure, bro. You got to know for sure, bro. Especially at a high level like that, you got to be like, you, go, you just got to, you got to weigh your options, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or just never get married. You really can't get married, honestly. Can't, it's a whole, it's a whole, yeah. it's a whole thing, bro. We can't even, you know what I'm saying? We can't even do it right now. When I look back at it now, I can't believe I sat there and didn't say anything. Robin Givens divorced him. Their marriage lasted eight months. She took his house, $10 million, and Brad Pitt. So she brought a guy home to this. Wait, what? $10 million. And Brad Pitt. So she brought a guy home to see her. You want to know who it is? Brad Pitt. Brad must who the fuck is Brad Pitt? He must have been drinking something because he was real close to me in the car. And he had no idea. He didn't see me. But then when he got out the car, he saw me. Oh sh Wait, he a movie person? <laughs> What the I fuck? lost a lot of money. I kept getting lawsuits. I was lawsuits this, lawsuit here, lawsuit here. And most of my money I've tricked off on lawsuits. If I spend two hundred and fifty million dollars on girls and trips and clothes, that's nothing to what I did on lawsuits. You spent two hundred and fifty million on girls and trips and clothes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But then you say, you did even more? You blew even more on lawsuits. <sighs> and, and, and anytime I see some shit like this, my first, th my first thought in my mind is, how could he prevent this? Let me know in the comments. What ways could he have prevent all this, bro? People, everybody's out to get him. Everybody out to get his bank account. What would you do in this situation? You're on top of the world. 
like I said, it's you damn near can't get married, bro. You damn near can't marry because you're giving her the option to fuck your life up. She took, she, they got married for eight months, eight fucking months. This that was the easiest lick of all time. She just hit a lick. She just hit a lick, and she could forever. She good forever now. Especially if she play her cards right and she get with another famous person. She she good forever. She good forever. You know what I'm saying? Ten M's. You they, she really lucky that, that they ain't have a kid together. That would have been really fucked up. Anyways though. Um, they, so, so she good forever. Ten M's, a fat ass mansion, and she cheated. It's together for eight months, bro. You got if you can't get married to a girl, me personally, I say probably like what? How long would I? I always have to know. First of all, I had to know. Second of all, it had to be some time. I gotta live with you for a long time. I gotta just you gotta just be my person, bro. And I won't know. It won't. It definitely won't be that fast. Eight months. I don't know how long they dated before, but not that. I don't think they were dating that long. They probably, it's, they probably, he probably knew her for like two years. Like, what the fuck is two years? What is that? What is that? Two years, huh? You don't know that person for real. You don't know that person, and that's exactly how she got your ass. Okay. I, it's not. It's been tripped. I've tricked off on lawsuits. I lawsuits this, lawsuit here, lawsuit here. And most of my money I've tricked off on lawsuits. If I spend two hundred fifty million dollars on girls and trips and clothes, that's nothing to what I did on lawsuits. Okay? I, it's not. It's they not a nothing. question that I stood up for Bill Caton. I stood up for what was right, for for what Cuss had started. Longtime trainer Kevin Rooney protested, so Tyson fired Rooney too. Rooney was a wonderful trainer for him. Kevin Rooney loved him, uh, but Don King made him fire Kevin Rooney. And I think the day Tyson fired Kevin Rooney, there was a cap put on Mike Tyson's development as a fighter. Rooney had trained Tyson from 1982 to 1988. The final strings to Castiamato were severed. Dang. It was now the Don King show. So suddenly oh. there's a whole new cast of characters around Mike. And I think that Kevin Rooney didn't fit into the picture. Tyson wow. came out firing in his first fight without Kevin Rooney. Yes, that's the, the new uh, executive trainer in charge of the team. He was really imposed on uh, Tyson. Tyson didn't want him, but uh, finally he agreed to accept him. While his power was still there, his head movement was still slowing. He stopped moving his head. He started to jab less. Oh, lovely left hook there from Bruno. Cracking punch. Under Don King, his boxing technique began to decline and erode. His skills were eroding. Less lateral movement began to expose him to more headshots. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Okay, so got the power. Mm. Mm. Oh, shit. That uppercut. That uppercut. That uppercut. I think that's what we see earlier. Ugh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh I just came. I came. I came. Oh, oh my god. What the fuck? The best champion the world has seen for some time. I didn't challenge me with their somewhat prim primitive skills. They're just as good as dead. Mike Tyson is the most <laughs> famous athlete right. in the world. Fame has even followed Tyson across the sea to Japan. Tyson's in Japan to defend his heavyweight boxing title against James Buster Douglas. Rumors swirled about Tyson skipping gym time. After my divorce from Robin, um, I lost a lot of desire in my fighting and stuff. Matter of fact, I was training and I'm on my spawn and just dropped me. Before the fight, rumors had what? swirled about Tyson's mental and physical state. He'd been knocked down and sparred. I had a few fights. Damn. Um, with lesser opponents and I was successful. Without training hard at all, mainly for the fight. And so I didn't take Buster seriously. There was no longer any voice in his life that would dare speak against him. So I went to Japan, oh, hanging out with a lot of women, I had women in my room. Bobby Brown said that Mike Tyson and I were in Japan. We basically stayed up all night partying with 12 Japanese girls. I kept telling Mike, you need to go to sleep and he's get some lying. sleep. He's lying. Stop lying, bro. <laughs> he said, you need to get some sleep right. for the fight tomorrow. <laughs> he said, then you told Bobby, listen, I'm not no amateur. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I did talk that shit. Like, right. yeah, Nobody yeah. can beat me. I got this. I go to bed whenever <laughs> I got to go to bed. <laughs> By this time, 
Tyson was alone. No wife, no family, no real friends. Well, in the important game of X. Oh, that's what I was gonna say earlier too. So no one spoke against him. That's a big thing too. When you're in this position like this, you need good people in your ear that will tell you right from wrong. That now, like they said, no one will speak against him because he has so much money. He has all this money. No one wants to piss him off. No one wants to make him mad to where now they messing up their own bag. Because obviously, if you're around him, you're going to be making money. So if you say something against him, they think like, oh, okay, if I say something against him, then uh, he gonna, I'm not going to be cool with him no more. And then now I'm, I'm going to be going back to working at 9 to 5. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to just stay here and just make money. Instead of really being in his ear like, oh, bro, you're messing up. No, you need to go to, you need to, go to bed, bro. You No partying. You got to fight tomorrow, my nigga. You can party tomorrow. You can party after you win. How about that? Not, not now. Go to the gym, bro. And then, too, that's that ego shit, too. Like, this nigga, uh... I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Because he really can't even say nothing, though. It is Mike Tyson. Like, honestly, it is Mike Tyson. So, if he do say that, it's like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> you do know what you're doing, though. Because you damn near don't lose. <laughs> so, it's like, oh, shit. But, you know, you still need that people in your ear like that, though. This fight is over before it begins or soon thereafter. It's a, it's a tragic story, but it's also, like, there's so many lessons in that story. It's like, for all of us... Right. It's like there's a lot to learn, you know, right. that what happened when it got all the way to Buster Douglas when it was like he thought felt like he can't lose. Please welcome the challenger, James Buster Douglas. Buster Douglas always had a tremendous amount of talent, but he never totally put it together. But then his mom died and he decided he was going to Mike Tyson up for his mother. So it was a perfect storm of Mike Tyson being king of the world, doesn't even feel like he has to train anymore, and on the way, Buster Douglas, for that fight, trained like a demon. He was 37-0 and 0 at that particular moment in time. He was fierce, he was menacing. You begin to file through your memory for the biggest upset in heavyweight championship fight history. Douglas insists that he's going to shock the world in this fight. If he should upset Mike Tyson, it would make the shocks in Eastern Europe seem like local ward politics. He ain't moving. Another right hand lead by Douglas. Like when you're fighting at the real top level of a sport, you know, if you start missing training, start taking drugs, start sleeping around. Look at this, like he ain't even moving no more. He's so easy to hit. Kind of a four or five punch combination. Look at that. He ain't moving. Damn. His training team was so inept, they had forgotten one of the most standard pieces of equipment, an end swell. And he has swelled up. Mike this is a latex glove with ice water in it. Oh, they forgot one of the, the fucking main attempt. How the fuck you get that? You are This dude is the most famous person in the world right now. And you mean to tell me you forgot the equipment? Ain't this? Y'all should just have this. Just have it. Why don't y'all just have multiple of the thing? Like, y'all said this, bro, unlimited money, bro. It's a whole corporation. How do y'all not have more than one? His eye and is dominating the fight right now. Well, and of course, that infamous uh, corner treatment that he got in Tokyo, Tyson. Because when you knocked him down, I think in the eighth round, and he got like a, a very long count. The referee gave him extra Damn. couple seconds to recover. There you go. Oh, shit. Still Mike Tyson. That's what I'm saying. It's still Mike Tyson. <laughs> still Mike Tyson. Oh, okay, that's the one. That's, that's the glove right there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. You're out. You're out, Buster. No, he's out. Oh, man. And the bell ends to save Buster Douglas at the end of round eight. Uh, I believe he will be the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. And if he remains dedicated and interested and without any distractions, I believe that he will go down in history as the greatest heavyweight champion. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Joseph, why did you do that? <sighs> Yeah, so this is, yeah, so I tell you, I, like I said, so how do y'all think what happened if he wasn't in his life? And it shows you, if he wasn't in his life, this would have been done. Because once you, because you got to think about it, once you're at a point in time where, because it, it, also with you having people, a lot of people um, against you and trying to take everything, you do have a lot of people that you can lean on to just buy their help. 
because it's still the great like say like oh um the best trainer out now where's the best trainer who who's the who got the title for the best trainer right now where is he at how do i get into contact with him i'm mike tyson i can pay for anything let me know where you at. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where is that at? How can, you know what I'm saying? So that's the one thing that's good about it. But everybody, everybody out your, out your life, bro. And you don't keep, he literally said perfect, bro, without distractions. Oh my God, that shit is fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. And remain dedicated and interested and without any distractions. I believe that you will go down the history as the greatest heavyweight champion. What I took from it is that it was the beginning of the end mm -hmm. of yep. Mike Tyson, mm -hmm. the Mike Tyson that we knew. Damn. Damn. It's over. And then they're gonna say that's controversial because he should have been out already. So let me know, was he supposed to be out for real or not? The aura of invincibility was gone. Tyson's demons had finally caught up to him. Does it seem like a dream? Yeah, it pretty much like a blur. And suddenly, Mike Tyson, uh, perceived as this giant damn, monolith, like damn. has been reduced to being another heavyweight champion who got defeated. You have seen a piece of sporting history, the like of which there has perhaps never been in a boxing ring before. Mike Tyson's reign is over. I can't believe the it. defeat sent shockwaves around the world. James Buster Douglas is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Buster Douglas, the new heavyweight champion. Mike Tyson, who has often bragged that no man alive could beat him, refused to be interviewed after the fight. Uh. It's just one of the things. I was sleeping and I got my ass whipped. And it doesn't change me. I'm no different, no less of a person or anything. Tyson was motivated again to reclaim his lost prize. Tyson's reign of terror over the heavyweight division lasted three years and three months. But as he entered what should have been his prime. So at the peak of your career, you were convicted and sent to prison for rape. Yeah. Which you, you write, but you, you did not do. Her name is Desiree Washington, an 18-year-old college freshman. Another beauty pageant contestant quoted you as saying, He's got a lot of money, and he's dumb. You saw what Robin Givens got out of him. He's someone that, he has so much money, he's always throwing it around. I might as well get a piece of it. You know, that's how people looked at it. What the fuck? The lady's putting it in, in fucking, what the, whoa, whoa, damn. Just like that? You just gonna say it like that, though? You don't give a fuck. You don't care. She don't care. Oh, bro. And this is literally how they talk. This is, and this is why you can't trust, bro. This is why. Because this is how they talk behind your back. This is how they talk when you're not around. To their friends and shit. That's how they talk to their friends. He just, he, he dumb. This is the perfect video. Joseph is a W uh, editor. This is, this is perfect represents of how this scene looks. She dancing. He smiling. She's like, oh my, get a piece of this dumb ass nigga. It's literally perfect. He's got a lot of money Look. and he's dumb. You saw what Robin Givens got out of him. He's someone that... He has so much money, he's always throwing it around. I might as well get a piece of it. You know, that's how people looked at it. Wow. Serving a six-year term at the Indiana Youth Center, Tyson was back in the setting he knew all too well. Everything his adopted father, Customato, had tried to prevent had come true under the tutelage of Don King. And they destroyed the greatest fighter I've ever seen. You have to understand, me being behind prison is going to be a lot different than the average person being behind prison. Hey, guys, come on, shut up. <laughs> That's a great chance. The debt is... No, no, I gotta start watching Simpsons. I gotta start watching The Simpsons, bro. My high oh my god, I already like Family Guy and stuff like that. Family Guy, one of my favorite shows, and I know Family Guy be saying it a lot. Like they say, they got air all day inspiration from The Simpsons, but I could never get into The Simpsons, bro. I don't know why. I just I don't know what best seasons it is. I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? But this I be seeing a lot though from The Simpsons. The Simpsons is definitely, you know what I mean? Hey guys, come on, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> The debt is paid, the prison term <laughs> over. Three years ago tomorrow, Mike Tyson entered an Indiana penitentiary. Tyson went straight into training, and the fights came back. 
Yes, Tyson is back, and with him comes the attention and excitement that only a superstar can generate. Tyson came back with a vengeance against Peter McNeely. As the former champion makes his final preparations in private, you wonder if he has rekindled that burning rage that made him once nearly invincible. Now, if the former champion is to climb the mountain one more time, that journey must begin tonight in impressive fashion. Tonight, making his return to the ring, introducing the one, the only, Mike Tyson. Through all the upheaval, Tyson remained the sport's most famous and infamous figure and its biggest box office draw. The intensity. He wants to get this fight over as soon as possible. He wants to be impressive. He wants to be destructive. Gus D'Amato once told him your greatest asset can become your greatest weakness. And McNeely, as advertised, comes right at Mike Tyson. Damn. Ooh, that was perfect. That was perfect. That was perfect. Damn. What the fuck is you doing, nigga? What the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> Convict was still a draw. His very first fight after release won him $25 million. His erratic spending and substance abuse worsened. Mike Tyson is departing. Tyson went out of the gym, was alone and isolated. How much money do you think he spent on drugs? I mean, you're an incredibly wealthy man. I don't know. Um, I spent enough. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. He was lying in the front yard, loose. Wow. He was on the steps like this with a heavyweight belt. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How come nobody wants to get out the car and play with my cat? You and him coming over your house in a limousine, and you had a, was it a lion or a tiger? Tiger. <laughs> See, you must have with a lion, but you yeah, had the tiger. This is a crazy picture. You in your underwear with a tiger on a chain. What made you think you could get a tiger? Like, how did that even happen? <laughs> Pet tigers, bro. <laughs> he wrestled with them. It's still, I still didn't have peace. I, something was, I still had that old darkness from back before. So I become this addict now. Because I always drink my whole life. never stopped drinking. His boxing skills had faded slightly. Yet Tyson continues to miss. And missing again, and missing again. Put it, pivot. Swing around on your opponent's side. Mm. Mm. What made me successful is my ego, my desire, my self-hate, and uh, the fact that I want to be up more than people want me to be down. Mm -hmm. Tonight in his first title fight since losing the undisputed world heavyweight title to James Buster Douglas, February of 19. After a series of quick knockouts, Mike Tyson would take aim at recapturing the heavyweight title. Okay, 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 okay. Damn! It is all over! It is oh. over here in round three. Mike Tyson is champion again. In a blink, Mike Tyson had retaken the heavyweight belt. The new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. He That's passed. good that he proved himself, though. This is very good that he proved himself. You know what I'm saying? Especially with everything going on. You know what I mean? This really shows you the type of person he is. Facing adversity. Bruce Seldon for the WBA title. A very loose-looking Bruce Seldon. A very serious-looking Mike Tyson. He had now unified the titles again. And Tyson with a left hook, and Seldon is down on his stomach. Oh, forget you can it. Punch. Punch. He's wobbly. You can it's always punch, over. and that's it. It's over in the first round. I had unified championship again when I beat Bruce Sheldon. I fought him and beat him in a one-round knockout. And I had two belts on my waist. After being out of prison, I was 11 months coming out of prison with two belts on my waist. I really thought I was somebody special then, because no one's ever done that, not even Muhammad Ali. And then, um, once again, I let everything go, go away, and I believed I was God, I believed I was great. I didn't believe I had to train for them. I thought everybody was afraid of me. Finally, 
After many impediments and obstacles being put in both their paths, only one belt remained to become undisputed once more. This Hopefully time, he trained they would this. have to face Evander Holyfield. Apparently, Holyfield kept headbutting him over and over again. The ref didn't do anything about it. What? Oh, he was headbutting. No one warned him. No one gave him, took any points for him. What am I to do? This is my career. I can't continue getting butted like that. Life. I got children to raise. And this guy keeps butting me, trying to cut me and get me stopped on cut. I got to retaliate. So Tyson got really dazed and confused. And finally, he just snapped and bit his ear. Oh. Ah! He did what? the oh, shit. Oh, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Crazy, motherfucker. Mike Tyson is the perfect person to do some shit like this. The perfect person. Bit his ear. He bit his ear. What? Finally, he just snapped and bit his ear off. Bit his ear off. Are... So you mean to tell me this nigga ripped his ear off? I, I, I refuse to bleed it. I refuse to believe it. What happened here? He got bit, I think. I kept on saying, I want to get him back. I want to get him back. Evander Holyfield, look out. He's pushed right here. Above us by Tyson. What the fuck is going on right here. now? Oh, my goodness. He's got a... Okay, yo, he ain't bit Holyfield him. Holyfield bit by a dirty Mike Tyson. So, we go back in, then all of a sudden, he bit this in. You bit this in. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga bite this <laughs> Mike Tyson will fight again. He did buy it. This time you're gonna pay twice as much. His tasteless performance against Evander Holyfield spawned head. This nigga probably didn't motherfucking ate that motherfucker too. I bet you he ate it. I bet you ate it. Lines like reality bites, paper chew, and irresponsible. To say when the blood is carried back. And I thought I might lose because of a severely of a cut above my eye. I just, I just snapped. You know, we have never seen the Mike Tyson bowl that was here before he went to prison. Since he came out, we have not seen that Mike Tyson. After a two-year layoff, Mike Tyson's ban was lifted, and he was allowed to return. 18 months after being disqualified for biting the ears of Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson comes back. Out Lennox Lewis. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lennox is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Though he still had a puncher's Whoa. chance, he was a shell of his former self. So the man who once was the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Now we'll try to regain the title at the advanced stage of 35. The fight wasn't Tyson's last, but symbolically, it was. Kit Dynamite was never coming back. Oh, damn. Damn. So now it's just chaos and cocaine and women and 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 then eventually the wheels fall off. I was madly in love with Custom Auto. I became um he broke me down and rebuilt me back up and um I became totally loyal to him. My over under was 90 seconds. Mike Tyson literally exploded into our living room. When he was being trained by Custom Auto, he was living the total existence of a man hell-bent on becoming the world champion. Remember from the side, you can let that punch go with the wind. Stewart okay. has stated categorically that he knows he needs to keep throwing punches to try to keep Tyson occupied. If he stops throwing, he'll be dead. That's true. This could be quick. This could be quick. I was afraid of a 30-second sound bite. Hey, this fight is over. Boxing is the theater of the unexpected. In many ways, that sentiment perfectly describes Mike Tyson, forged under the tutelage of the great Castiamato. Mike permits himself to be pushed around. He is one person in the ring and a completely different person 
when uh, we go out. A theater of the fuck. unexpected. Scared of the little white fuck. Scared of the real man. I'll f it till you love me. Fuck. Whoa! Right, who's this guy? This is not consensual sex we're talking about. Kevin told us this guy's gonna be oh, champion fuck. as long as he wants to be champion, and it's obvious he wants to continue being champion. You. What will people remember about Mike Tyson 50 years from now? 50 years? I don't know. That's the most destructive, ferocious fighting machine that God ever created. Yeah, that's what I think. Nobody brings it home like it. Joe Vincent. Nobody. Make it so. Don't forget to download Warpath using my link in the description.